Today I'm gonna show you how to create this riding the city animation on just powerpoint. First pick a oval shape and then holding the control shift drag it over here like this. Now pick a rectangle shape and place it in the exact middle of the circle. Then select this tube, go to format, click on merge shape and make subtract. Now click on shape fill and change the color to this. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. After that, press ctrl D to duplicate and then click on rotate and select flip vertical. Then place this one over here and change its color from shape fill. Now select this two and press ctrl G to group them together. Now again pick a oval shape and holding the ctrl shift drag this over here. Then go to format, click on shape fill and select no fill. Now click on shape outline and pick this color. Now again click on shape outline and increase its weight. Now select this two, go to arrange then align and select align center. Then again go to arrange then align and select align middle. Then select this one and press ctrl D to duplicate. Now go to format, click on shape outline and change this color to this. Then again go to shape outline and decrease its weight. After that holding the ctrl shift make it a bit smaller than before and place it in the exact middle. Now again pick a rectangle shape and drag it over here like this way. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. And go to shape outline, make no outline. Now place it in the exact middle and holding the shift key rotate like this way. Then press ctrl D to duplicate and place it over the previous one. Now holding the shift key rotate this one again. Now we just need to press ctrl D and rotate two times more. Then select all of this one by one and press ctrl D to duplicate. Now rotate like this way and place it over here. Now holding the ctrl button select the rest of this. Now go to mars shape and select union. Then again pick a rectangle and drag it over here like this. Now go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. And go to shape outline, make no outline. Then place it in the exact middle. Now ctrl D to duplicate and place this one over here. Now go to shape outline and pick this color. And again go to shape outline and increase the weight. Then go to shape fill and make no fill. Now select this circle outline, right click on it and bring it to front. Then again go to shape and pick a hollow circle. Now holding the ctrl shift drag it over here. And place it in the exact middle. Now go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. And go to shape outline, make no outline. Now again pick a oval shape and drag it in the middle of this hollow circle. Now go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. And go to shape outline, make no outline. Then select this hollow circle and press ctrl D to duplicate. Now change this color to this and make it thinner by moving the yellow dot. Now resize this one and place it in the exact middle. Now pick a arc shape and holding the ctrl shift drag it over here. Now move this yellow dot to make it a circle. Then place it in the exact middle and holding the ctrl shift make it a bit bigger. Then go to format, click on shape outline and change the color to this. Now click on this small icon and from here increase the width. Now drag this yellow dot like this way and rotate this one. Now make it like this. Now select all of these without this background circle. So this select this one and press ctrl G to group. Now again pick a hollow circle and drag it over here. Now make it thinner and place it in the exact middle. Now make it bigger like this. Now go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. And go to shape outline, make no outline. Then right click on it and send it to back. Then select all of these and place it over here. Now ctrl D to duplicate and place this new one to here. Now rotate this arc shape like this way. Then go to format, click on shape outline and change the color to this. Now select this half black circle, go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. Then select this rectangle, go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. After that select this one and change the outline color. Now select this circle outline and change its color to this. Then select the upper outline and change its color to this one. Now select this arc shape and press ctrl D to duplicate then place it over here. Now move this yellow dot to make it smaller. Then again ctrl D to duplicate this arc shape and place it over here again and resize this one. Now select all of these 
accept this background circle and press Ctrl G to group them together. Now do the same thing for this. Here the wheels are ready. Now we need to add the city building. So I'm just taking a new slide here and then go to shape and pick a rectangle. Then just drag it over here and change this color from shape fill and make no outline. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate and rotate like this way. Then select this two, go to merge shape and select subtract. Now again press Ctrl D to duplicate this one and place it here. Then change this color and again pick a rectangle shape and drag it over like this. Now go to shape fill and change the color to this and make no outline. Now again pick a oval shape and a rectangle then select this two go to merge shape and select subtract then change this color from shape fill and make no outline now make it smaller and place over here now just to save your time i'm just going a bit faster here these are really simple steps you just need to play with the rectangles here i'm just duplicating the rectangles resizing and changing their color to have window effect on our building each building should be different from each other. That's why I'm using the rectangles of different sizes and colors. Now select and group the building shapes one by one. Then send last three buildings to the back and place them like this way. Now we need to create the other side of our city buildings. Here we just need to repeat the same thing. Just duplicate the rectangles and decorate the building in different way. Duplicating the rectangles, resize it and give it a new color. Then place some windows on the building. Now duplicate some more rectangles of different color to get a better look. Here we need to create one more building and then group the building shapes one by one and send them to back like this way. After that we'll create some flags. So pick a line shape and a triangle one then place them like this way. Grouping them duplicate this few more times to decorate the buildings. Now select all of these and press Ctrl G to group them together. Then press Ctrl X to cut and here press Ctrl V to paste. Then just right click on it and send it to back. Now holding the Ctrl Shift resize the city buildings like this way. Now select this arc shape and press Ctrl D to duplicate. Then place it over here. Now drag this yellow dot to make it bigger. Then go to format, click on shape outline and change the color to black. Now press Ctrl D to duplicate and change this color to white. Then decrease its weight from the shape outline. Then place this one over here and select this two. Press Ctrl G to group them together. Now right click on it and send it to back. Now pick a line shape and holding the shift key drag this one over here. Now go to format, click on shape outline and change this color to this. Then again go to shape outline and increase the weight. Then place this one in the middle of the arc shape. Now pick a double corner rectangle shape and drag it over like this. And increase the roundness. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. And go to shape outline, make no outline. Then place this one over here and decrease its size. Now pick a rectangle and drag it over here like this. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. And go to shape outline, make no outline. Now select this two and press Ctrl G to group them together. Then holding the Ctrl shape, make it a bit smaller. Here grouping this one with the line shape, press Ctrl D to duplicate. Now I'm just duplicating and arranging few more here. Now holding the shift key, decrease the height of the line shape for each one. Now change the color of few to get the variation. After that select all of these and press Ctrl G to group them together. Now right click on it and send it to back. Then duplicate this line shape and place it over here. Now holding the shift key decrease its height. Now pick a rectangle and drag it over here. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this and go to shape outline, make no outline. Now pick a triangle and drag it over this rectangle. Then again go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this and make no outline. Now resize this one a bit more and Ctrl G to group them together. Now place this over here and decrease its height. Now we need to add the animation. So select the first wheel, go to animation and click on add animation and select spin from here. 
Now click on animation pane and from the drop down menu select effect option. Now go to timing and keep this on click and select this one first. Now select this one until the end of the slide then press ok. After that select the first animated wheel then click on animation painter and then select this second wheel. Our first animation has been pasted on it so select start with previous. And we are done with our creation. You can download this template for free I have given the link in the video description. If you enjoyed this video make sure like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to share with your friends. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.